Heads. Heads is cold. Look at his toes. Give it back first. And he bowls him. You've got to get forward to spin, and he's gone. Tarakel's poor uh, tournament with the bat continues. He just hasn't looked like he's had his batting boots at all. And he has to go, and what an opportunity to bring back good friend, co-commentator, Mr. Maximo. Now, in fact, he goes inside out and gets it. One bounce, four. Oh, he's bowled him. What a ball from Kulta. Zakil punches his bat in frustration. This won't be the one where he breaks out. So the two wides works out well because it changes the strike. Zakil, yeah, just trying to prod, play down the wrong line. Kulta, he's bowled so well today. Beveren, eight for two. Oh, I don't know why he did that, though. As we see, Moman come out and plunder a boundary first up. Oh, French oh. cut. That'll do. That'll be four. So, Beveren need a bit of luck. They get some here. Moman, two fours and two balls. Oh, it takes his off the stumps and does well. Just goes with the angle. One bounce, four. Just goes up in the air and gone. Inside half of the back. Cucks, they never clicked. Here in match 14, McCulloch just slides in, doesn't he? Takes it to the inside half of the bat. And so three wickets in the power play in the end. McCulloch gets his first. It's 25 for three. That's the flipper, yeah. and it bowls him. Wow, he just sneaks it through. Put another one up on the chalkboard. And yeah, this time, Moman, he's going to have to go. 13 has been a bit of an unlucky number today. Mulder does it again, and Beveren in a bit of trouble. It's 29 for four. And he gets lifted up and out of the ground. Well, Noman gets off the mark, and he does it in style. Maximo. Now it's a full down square drive. And I think it'll beat the field as it does. Well, that would have been a wide. But he literally flung himself at the ball. Anyway, six overtime. It's going to start with a no ball. And that will be out of the ground. Seven up, baby. Maximo. Oh, shot. It's a really good shot. And they've oh, got no. on the hit. Big, big problems. And that's what happens when you go on the hit. You can see, and no man saying, what's going on there? But to be honest, the non-striker, no man, he just got excited about how hard Rashid hit it, and he didn't look where he hit it. Watch this. He crunches it, and he goes, oh, yeah, good shot. Starts to run. But it went straight to the fielder. Yeah. Never a run there. Yeah, so you can see that that's why it's the striker's call, because it's in front of the wicket. And, and you know, I know no man's no a good batter, but... Gives him a bit of length, and he pays the price. Maximo! Keeping out of the sun, that's smart. Shot. Anyway, a little bit short, and gets the power. Maximo! This is up inside out, right back to the rope, and gone. So Mulder does the job. And here you see that one turn to strike. Maboob wasn't able to get all of this. All right, here we go. Over number 10, can Beveren touch the 100? Oh, this is hit pretty hard, Shot. and that'll be four. Well, that helps. Place back on the ball, Rashid. I told you, and that's a top edge, and that will go away again. One bounce, four, so two much-needed boundaries. Got it. Yeah, nice one. They needed that, and that'll take him to 99. Kulta doesn't quite find the block hole, and he goes the distance, six runs. Oh, we need to run for that, because Ottman's eye stands and delivers Maximo. He overdoes it, turns into a full toss. They may try for a second. Maybe they're waiting for a call, but they may have a little look at this. My instinct was it was probably okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was well below the waist. We'll have a double check. That's fine. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Just, I think it's dipping enough. Yep. By the time it reaches it, it's probably almost top of the pad. So that will just be a single. And it will take us to the end of the 10 overs. Oh, yeah? Why don't you? Thanks for coming. Six and... Oh, it's almost a hanger! Oh, Hornchurch. I think that Sainzi out there goes for a Jalebi catch and he almost takes out the fan area. And this time he clatters through the legs. Adios Palotta ball. This man is basically seeing the ball like a watermelon at the moment. And another four. Well... 
And if you like boundaries, you've come to the right place because VDM is in the house. And, yeah, that's a pretty good way to start. We'll just take the 19 off the over and the Irish champion just keep on being Irish. Great batting. Here we go. Oh, wow, big moment. Something, yeah. Big moment. Has to catch it. Oh, he drops it. And that could be the tournament for Beveren. You can't drop good players. And VDM gets a life. That's a huge that's moment. A tough one, Rashid, going back. Batted so well. He's the reason they've got this many on the board. It was a proper... Class A steepler though, because he had to run around. He faces the ball again. He just couldn't relocate it. Oh, that oh. one hurts, doesn't it? Oh yeah, laced. One bounce. Thanks for coming. Four runs. Notman's like short and cracked, and this is going to go all the way. Bang, Maximo. And he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, little under edge, and so Notman's like. Well, you picked him up and they couldn't handle the one thumbs up pressure. <laughs> nice catch behind the stumps. Moma does the rest. It's the wicket they needed. They needed it quickly. It's 40 for one. This Irish batting order. Runs a bit of a pace on delivery to the gap and four. Oh. That's a Gundy ball. Once again, Casca way too short and that has been laced. Six runs. Pitches up, bangs it. Well, that's a very, very good cricket shot. Maximo! From there, as that swept away. And uh, Doherty is just continuing on. And another boundary. And that has been malachi Well, he's crunched that. And the boy from Canada can play cricket. What a shot. As that has been hit to a different galaxy. Six runs. Oh, no, full toss. He doesn't get it, though, and it's missed. It gets through. It might be close to a no ball as well, but I think it's gone for four. It's a great effort on the boundary. I felt this was okay. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. That's all right. It's coming down. Now, we've got to see where it lands. I didn't see exactly where it bounced. Does it land in the field of play? Yeah, four yeah, runs. Yep. That's the way to do it. Well, probably not the way he wanted to bring up his 50, but he'll take it anyway. Everything rolling Irish at the moment. Well, there's the mascot up into the sky. Doherty brings up his 50 of just 19 balls. Goes after this, but hasn't quite got it. Chance for Tarakel. Takes the catch. Really well done by that fielder. So Doherty does get to the 50, but he goes the very next ball. Ashkula Saeed with a wicket. Looks like it'll be a bit of a consolation one. But CIYMS lose their second opener now with a score 91 for two. Goes for this, high, very high. Tarakel's got a little bit of room to move and he takes a very good catch. Well, McCulloch swung for the fences, got it higher than he got it long. Side gets two in the over, great catch by Tarakel. Pair of very good catches for him. Oh, no good ball, relieves the pressure, that'll be four. Crashes into the fence, Cullitz is all over that one. Knee high, full toss, goes to the boundary. That's a hit straight to mid wicket and match it will have to go for a duck. Another wicket falls. It does go back to 12 of 12. Beveren trying hard. And the score is 96 for four. Snowman with the ball. And this is going to be a four to start it straight down the ground. Long on and long off. We're a little bit wide of each other. Yeah, good batting. And that could do it. No, one bounce four. Yeah, that sums it up, doesn't it? That's how they'll do it. They'll do it on wide. So they're going to end up doing it with eight balls to go. Final score, CIYMS 108 of 8.4. Beveren 107. The 107 doesn't stand up.